Uh, if uh, Madam uh, in Violeta is uh, there, uh, I would like to channel this question uh, directly to her. We are talking about education and we're talking about the place of the young people in actually uh, uh, contributing uh, their quarter in seeing uh, that Africa, like you all have said, can be able to identify and solve the international or the internal obstacles to its uh, empowerment uh, and of course uh, redefine and make its voice heard at uh, the uh, international arena to reduce uh, the, the level of influence uh, that we have at uh, this particular juncture. So, uh, Madam Inviolata, uh, what are the strategies uh, uh, that African countries can adopt to improve education and skills uh, development, which are actually vital for the uh, uh, empowerment uh, of uh, the uh, population across Africa? We mentioned uh, digitalization, but then we see that there is the, the aspect of selective perception, what African young people expose themselves to, especially in the, the uh, uh, ecosystem of the internet. So in the, 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 the aspect of education, what are the key strategies to be uh, adopted by the key uh, stakeholders across the African continent to turn things around for Africa? Thank you, thank you, Clarissa. Um, before I came uh, to uh, this panel, I was thinking about this and I was thinking, you know what, how lovely it would have been if Africa was allowed to have their education in the language that they will understand. If somebody would be taught mathematics in their language, if they could uh, be taught whatever it is that we are learning um, in, in, in everywhere, and that's so much that even the one that is living in the bush uh, understands what mathematics is about, what is it um, that is going on in the world, what is going around, that everybody is educated. You know, when once you have an educated nation, it's so easy then to build up um, uh, the nation, to bring out the things and the strategies that the world or the country should work in. So for me, I should, I see it as that, um, uh, our leaders should reconsider the, our educational systems, look at them, how can they um, bring them down to the uh, very less privileged, uh, you know, uh, bring it uh, to them to, to, um, to, to be able to be educated in a language that they can understand. You see now, if I am going to go to school and I'm I'm learning in German, of course I I, I studied in 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 English. That's the language that we were we were taught with. But if I'm going to learn in German, it's really going to be a bit more difficult for me to understand because this is a second language. And for most African countries, we are learning and being educated in 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 our colonial languages. If we could re we were talking about um, uh, us uh, as a uh, Africa coming together, if we could also have um, uh, like uh, an educational system that I know that, okay, if I have to move uh, to South Africa, I don't need to struggle. If I have to move to Cameroon, I really don't need to struggle because the, 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 the education that we have been taught is not about the Western, but it is us, it is about us as African people. This is what I, 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 I really see that that's that is important in the educational sector. One other thing also that the uh, that education shouldn't be in a bottleneck system. It should be for everyone. It should be for all, and everybody should be like. If you look again into the African setting of uh, of education, it is actually meant to only select the best out of the system. Whereas when you look at the educational system, when you come here across Europe and all, it is actually uh, the education that is be being given, it is actually uh, um, being given to improve on the skills of the person. So there is actually nobody is left out in this ed educational system. And I really uh, wish 
and pray that one day as Africa, we get to that point where we understand that education is not only uh, for the privilege, but it is for all of us and it is for the benefit of each and everyone because every person and every skill is important. Thank you.